Hello guys and welcome to a new video. So last video I shared my Fennec build and on this one I'll be sharing my M4 build as many of you requested it. If you're here for the gameplay then skip to the time shown on the screen. Because before we start I'll do a quick damage comparison between this M4 build and my old AK-47 build which is a gun that has been meta for the past 10 years. So let's start with the comparison and after that we'll move on to the gameplay. So as usual, we'll be testing the damage against an enemy with 300 HP at 15 meters range and at 50 meters range with all shots directed to the chest area. And we'll find out which gun kills faster. Starting with the AK-47, it has a slow fire rate of 560 rounds per minute and at 15 meters range, it deals a total of 33 damage, killing the enemy within 964 milliseconds. And at 50 meters range, the damage drops to 23, so it kills within 1.39 seconds. Moving on to the M4, it has a fast fire rate of 705 rounds per minute but less damage. Because at 15 meters range, it deals 26 damage, killing the enemy within 935 milliseconds, which is almost the same as the AK-47. And at 50 meters range, the damage drops to 20, killing the enemy within 1.19 seconds. So even though the M4 has less damage, it still kills slightly faster than the AK-47 thanks to the fast fire rate. You can also improve the killing time if you want by adding monolithic suppressor or the long range perk. Both of these attachments increase the range of the gun so it deals more damage at longer ranges. But personally I don't really think it's worth it, the ranger or marksman attachments are more than enough. It's better to invest on control or accuracy attachments instead. Because what's the point of having higher damage at longer range when you're missing half of your shots? As for the mods that I use on the M4, first of all the lateral recoil mod to improve the horizontal recoil. Followed by the precise mod since it has a bit of low accuracy compared to other assault rifles. And finally I go for either a range mod or an extender mod, both can be good. Now that the comparison is out of the way, we can move on to the gameplay. And honestly, I was planning to post a game from the last season because after the rank reset few days ago, I've been facing many bots and noobs and I couldn't record a good game. But this one was just full of action. It really caught me off guard. And I was not expecting to get this many fights and real squads, but I'm glad I did. I was getting bored on my journey to legendary and I really needed something challenging. And if you saw my last video, I mentioned that there was a party at train station. Well, forget about that because it was nothing compared to the start of this game. It was pure chaos and I lost count on how many squads landed on construction site. I'm just glad I had my friend with me. We had to play it smart and cover each other's back because one wrong move means the end for us. Especially that our teammates landed in another location. Engaging the enemies. What's going on here with that? Supply box here. Three enemies pushing together without any info on their classes, so I decided to retreat and regroup with my friend because we needed to stay together for this one. Box here. At this point, I knew for sure that I made the right decision when I retreated. Not only I regrouped with my friend, but also we managed to split them apart, which won us the fight. And if I made the decision to fight them earlier, then I would have been most likely dead, because they were pretty good. 
That was a great warm up for us and it made us even more thirsty for more kills. But before that, we went for the loadout airdrop and I got my M4. There is one basic tactic that we used in this game and I want to share it with you guys. So whenever you hear gunshots, use the vehicle to drive towards that direction. But before you engage, take some time to drive around the area and collect as much info as you can. Mainly the number of enemies and their classes if possible. And after that, choose a good spot to stop, like a house or a big rock. Basically a spot with a good cover. Enemy down. Thanks to that tactic, we won the fight easily. We had good cover and positioning and we had good info about the number of enemies. And even though I saw three enemies, I fought like it was four. Because sometimes you don't see all of them. So it's better to prepare yourself, that way you'll be more aware and ready for any surprises. Moving on to the next fight, this guy was trying to get his teammates but we destroyed their helicopter and we pushed them right away. It was our best chance to kill them since they were near buildings because we're using ninja and pumped classes. And both of them have a huge advantage near buildings. Moving on to the final stages of the game and again we're using the same tactic. Head towards the gunshot's direction and collect some info, then choose a good parking spot and finally engage. I really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and I hope you like my M4 build. Honestly, I'm really loving it. And to be fair, I think both the AK-47 and the M4 are great options. But my main gun right now is the M4 because I got bored with abusing the AK-47. Before you leave, let me know down in the comments what your favorite assault rifle is. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.